Good Thursday morning. If you're listening to this devotion, it means God has graciously given you another day. Your heart's beating, your lungs are functioning, your brain is controlling and regulating each of your bodily functions, even the ones you do without thinking. You are alive. And if you're a follower of Jesus Christ today, you're more than just alive. You, my friend, have been given true life, abundant life, through Jesus Christ your Lord. Consider Peter's words here in chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. If you truly know Jesus today, scripture declares that you have been born again to a living hope. Your hope today is alive because Jesus is alive. God, in his great mercy, has caused you to have life through his Son. The power that raised Christ from the dead is the same power that raised you from the dead spiritually. And because Jesus is alive, you have the precious promises today that the inheritance awaiting you in heaven will never perish, will never be defiled, will never fade away. If you're in Christ, you are his and he is yours. The power of God is guarding you and your salvation through your faith in him. So Christian friend, you're more than alive. You're alive in him. Live life in a manner that reflects the living hope that you have in him. If currently you're not, then ask the Holy Spirit to stir your heart and remind you of his promises once again. As the Holy Spirit stirs your heart, let him lead you to worship and praise God for what he has done for you through Jesus Christ. Because of the living hope that I have in Jesus, not only do I love to share with you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm compelled to share the gospel with others who don't know him. Pray that God would empower you to be bold to share your faith in Christ with those that he places around you. Ask Jesus to draw people to himself through your personal testimony. Father God, I praise you today for your great mercy. Thank you for causing me to be born again to a living hope in your son Jesus. Because you raised him from the dead, I have a living hope for salvation in him alone. Lord, I rejoice that you're alive in me and I am alive in you. I thank you that in your infinite power, you are constantly keeping guard over me. I have hope today through the truth of the gospel that I'm safe in you, Lord Jesus. You are my inheritance. Thank you for giving me the gift of living faith and the salvation of my soul. Lord, in times of trial, May I remember that you are using trials to test and to prove the genuineness of my faith in you. And as a result, may I continually give you praise, honor, and the glory that you deserve. Lord, I thank you for the person that the Holy Spirit used to bring me to Christ. May I, may I be empowered by you today to share the same good news with others. I pray these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.